Hey everybody, Nick here from virtualassistantassistant.com and I'm joined by Sandra Lewis, founder and director of Worldwide 101. Sandra, what's going on? Hey Nick, thanks so much for having me. You How bet. are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your opportunity to speak directly to the virtual assistant, assistant visitors and kind of uh, pitch uh, Worldwide 101 and say, you know, what, what separates your company from the competition? So, so let's hear it. What's Worldwide 101 all about? Fantastic. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Um, in, in fact, it's, it's a great question because it's something that we always discuss with our clients. When they come to us, we always say, you know, have you checked out the competition? Just make sure that you look at the virtual assistant sites, the other companies, because we really think that, you know, every client has specific requirements, every, every business has specific requirements. So finding out what everybody does is really important. So having said that, uh, Worldwide 101, we specialize in, in providing business-grade virtual assistants. Uh, and by business-grade, what I mean is skilled and experienced assistants who can do more than just admin support. So, uh, you know, who have uh, versatile skills and, and who can do more complex and more advanced uh, tasks. So, right now, a lot of virtual assistant companies on the market offer basic admin. So, you know, booking, uh, scheduling, research. So of course while well, we do all this, so you right. know, we do admin support, we do a lot of executive assistance to many of our clients, we also do much more. So for example, we'll provide project management, uh, blog writing, email marketing campaign, um, content strategy, design, web, uh, customer support. So we do a lot of customer support for a lot of our companies, for a lot of our, our clients and a lot of companies, which means, you know, anything from leasing with fulfillment houses to answering customer queries to, and we do this in multiple languages. Okay. So again, our difference is, you know, um, more than just admin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> No, I was going to say, like, you're one of the few companies that specializes in kind of the bilingual assistance. Um, and, you know, several people have asked me, oh, I need somebody in, in French, for example, or I need somebody right. in German or whatever. So it's like, well, then I always have to send them your way because it's like, I, right. I don't know of anybody else. Or either that or go post a job on Elance or something and see what comes back. Yeah, definitely. That that is what's one of the things that we do do is is we 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 provide all the European languages. So as you said, French, German, Spanish, Italian, and a lot of clients do come to us. We also actually have a lot of U.S. companies that we work for who have tried to branch out. For example, in Germany, and so we've offered them a German local person to help them branch out into those markets. So okay. it actually works really well as well for the the, the U.S. and Canada. So yeah, again, you know what differentiates us is that business grade. It's it's the advanced skill sets, and a lot of a lot of the um, clients that come to us really are looking for the kind of like the senior executive assistant, the versatile person that can run their office while they focus on growth and on strategy and you know on their sales pipeline. Okay. Um, the second thing oh, I can I can say a second thing. Can I say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the second thing which differentiates us is also um, how we match, how we match our clients with our virtual assistants, which I think a very few other virtual assistant companies uh, do it the way that we do. You know, when when a client comes to us and tells us what they need, it's not a matter of just, oh well, this is the next virtual assistant that's available. We're very careful to find out what they need, their requirements. Obviously, you know, if someone needs a bookkeeper or if they need a web developer, there's a, a serious vast difference in the skill set. And given that we provide both, it's very important that we find out, you know, what their requirements are. And once we do find out, then we actually suggest a few candidates to them. Uh, and they have a chance to choose from the candidates. So we're very, very big on long-term partnerships. Uh, our clients have been with us for, you know, a year and more, and we attribute it to the fact that uh, we give them a chance to actually be involved in the process. Um, and as we were talking about earlier, you know, one always likes to work with someone that they enjoy working with. <laughs> so we want to be sure it's the right match, both skill-wise and personality-wise. Um, so that's also something that we do, we do quite differently. Right. I remember signing up for my first VA company, and it was very much like, you know, I you know I gave them my job description or my envision of the job description at that time. It was my very first time, like, you know, outsourcing. So I didn't really know what I was getting into, but yeah. it was it was very much like, okay, here's here's your guy, here's your introduction, and 
and that was kind of it. There wasn't, you know, this opportunity to, you know, match with several different people. And I assume there was some, at least I hope there was some work that went on kind of on the back end on their part to say, okay, oh, this guy sounds like a good fit versus just like, oh, he, he's, he's available because his last client didn't like him or something. Right, 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 right. No, I mean, you know, our whole premise is uh, that our assistance becomes an integral part of our clients' businesses uh, and for the long term. So um, for that to happen, you know, it's exactly like an in-office assistant. I mean, the person is really going to be handling your work and, you know, have access to your information and get to know you and how you work and your style. So it's very important to us because um, it's, it's for the long term. So right. and, and our, the process is really fast. It doesn't see, it's not like, oh, we spend, you know, weeks trying to match you. Uh, it's a fast process. You know, you come to us, you tell us, you know, what you need, and then uh, we suggest candidates that are part of our team that we know have the skills, and then you get a chance to, you know, to decide who is best for you. And your VAs are uh, working from their home office? Yes. So our VAs are located in the U.S., uh, in Canada, and in Europe, so on, okay. on three places. They all work out of their home offices. Um, and I do want to say one thing about our, our VAs, uh, which is that, you know, working for Worldwide 101 is their job. So it's not that they are um, doing this on the side <laughs> or, you know, trying to make uh, some money just uh, or trying to figure out what they want to do with their career. I mean, it is their job. They're committed to us. Um, they've made a conscious decision to work from home for whatever reason, whether, you know, they want a more flexible schedule or they're mothers and, you know, they want work, work-life balance. So they have corporate experience. They have the skills. They work from home, and um, they work really hard because they want to retain that privilege. So, why oh, definitely. I, I, obviously, I work from home, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any customer type who is a problem client for you or somebody who should not engage in your services? Yes. <laughs> Um, couple, there's a couple of types. You know, obviously, we talked about long-term partnerships. So if, if a client has just a one-off task, um, you know, we're not the right virtual assistant company for them. You know, some people just want their audio to be transcribed by tomorrow. You know, that, that wouldn't be us. Um, the other type of client who will not, you know, find that this is the right arrangement is the client who has no time <laughs> to train and to onboard um, the assistant. Because the assistant becomes part of their team, we can only be as successful as the client um, basically shares information and has the time to do that. So we always say, you know, we can create checklists for you, we can create manuals, we can do a lot of things for you, but we still need your time. So <laughs> if you don't have the time, um, it, it's just not going to be successful and, and um, you know, neither for the assistant or the client. Right, you've got to invest the time up front in, in training, in, you know, trust, in process documentation and stuff before just, you know, magically hitting the button and say, okay, this is, this is your responsibility now, I don't yeah. have to do anything anymore. Yeah, and, and, you know, some people tell us, oh my gosh, I'm so busy, I don't have the time, what do you mean, you know, I just want to delegate. And it's not like we're talking hours and hours. I mean, it's kind of like taking it step by step. It's totally fine. As long as there is a commitment on the client's part, you know, to spend even one hour a week, um, you know, talking about their business, talking about what, they try, what they're trying to achieve with a virtual assistant. So we're not asking for, like, you know, a whole month's worth of training. <laughs> I just want to be clear with that, you know. It can just be, you know, a step by step. And as long as there is that commitment to make it successful, to make the relationship, the partnership successful, then um, we're, we're more than happy to help. And it, as I say, to also help actually create processes to make it easier and more efficient. Right. I think that's probably a rule of thumb, you know, with any... Uh, with any sort of outsourcing situation to, to make that, uh, you know, investment in training up front to set, to kind of set both parties up for success. Exactly, exactly. So, Sandra, thank you so much for, for joining me and, and kind of giving us the inside scoop on Worldwide 101. Obviously, wow. the, uh, you know, the reviews probably speak for themselves. People love you. Um, and as a special offer for virtual assistant, assistant visitor, Sandra has offered 10% off your first invoice with the referral code VAA. So remember that one if you guys want to check them out yourself. Sandra, Thank you thanks so much. much. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.